to tell them it may be hard, but it's not impossible. I was doing marathons at the time and stuff, and I thought Jack would also be an athlete. And when he was diagnosed with the diabetes, I thought that couldn't be anymore. Today, it's, that's certainly been proven wrong. I just didn't know enough at the time to know that he could have a perfectly normal life. Oh, man. Diabetes is when your immune system attacks your pancreas. So basically, you just can't make insulin. And my body doesn't control my blood sugar, which is why that's which is what happens if I don't have insulin. So I need to poke myself and see what my blood sugar is on a meter and give myself insulin through, um, through a syringe. And now you can check your blood sugar. I remember the time when I realized how diabetes had brought me to understand the concept of powerlessness. Because in an effort to keep the complications of diabetes at bay, I had tried so hard to keep my son's blood sugars as perfect as possible, but yet I would still get these high blood sugars. And then there were other times where we would just not care and we would get perfect blood sugars. And the lesson in it was that, you know, to a large degree, you're somewhat powerless over the outcome. And all you can do is do the right thing, take the right steps, but then realize that the outcome is, is not necessarily under your control. Right afterward, you're, you know, in... You're in a discombobulated frame of mind. I would say just full of apprehension and fear and questions. And being able to apply the things that we were told uh, is not so easy in that fight or flight frame of mind. Do you remember how many carbs is in one Akmok speeding? Four. Four. Okay. The most challenging just, thing just is that the learning cards. curve, a lot of it is um, you can't really uh, read material, and it has to be trial and error. It has to be experiential. If you don't concentrate on the shot, it usually doesn't hurt that much. And you get used to it, to where it's like second nature so you really don't feel it and it's not that bad after you get used to it they say these kids grow up fast kids with diabetes are special and i think jack's pretty special mm -hmm.